Good morning, readers. I hope you're ready for another fantastic story. Today, I'm going to read aloud a story called Great Aunt Martha. And this story is about a young girl's reaction, how she reacts to a visit from her great aunt. So her great aunt is coming to visit her, and how is she going to react to it? A great aunt is actually the aunt of your mom or dad. So if you think about your mom or dad and their aunt or uncle is their great aunt or uncle. I'm going to begin Great Aunt Martha by Rebecca C. Jones by reading the first paragraph very slowly. And then I'm going to try it again and read it very fast and see if you can tell a difference. If it's easier to understand when I read it slow, or if when I read it fast. Here we go. Great Aunt Martha was coming. So Mama washed the windows. Papa vacuumed the floors, and I had to pick up every single toy. Now think to yourself, was that easy or hard to follow along and, and understand what was going on? Now, I'm going to read it again at a normal uh, rate in which you should be reading and see if it's easier for you to understand it. Great Aunt Martha was coming. So Mama washed the windows, Papa vacuumed the floors, and I had to pick up every single toy. Now, I think that second time I read it, it was a little bit easier to understand. Let's continue with our story. We went to the store and bought fish and carrots and spinach and prune juice. No pizza or pretzels today, Mom said, because Great Aunt Martha is coming. Papa shaved in the middle of the day. Mama curled her hair. And I had to take a bath because Great Aunt Martha was coming. Hmm. Does the little girl seem happy that her great aunt is coming? I don't really think she does. Hmm. She seems a little bit sad about it. Then Great Aunt Martha came. She didn't look so great. She just looked old. She hugged Papa. She hugged Mama. She even hugged me. Is this the baby? She asked. My, 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 how she's grown. Papa took her suitcases. Mama gave her a glass of lemonade. They all sat in the living room and talked about weather and airplanes and people I never knew. Great Aunt Martha yawned. <sighs> and so did I. You must be very tired, Papa told her. Yes, Mama said. You need your rest, Great Aunt Martha sighed and went to her room. I turned on the TV to watch cartoons, but Mama said to turn it off because Great Aunt Martha was here and she needed her rest. James came over from next door, but Mama said we couldn't play because Great Aunt Martha was here and she needed her rest. I turned on some music so I could dance, but Papa said to turn it off because Great Aunt Martha was here and she needed her rest. I rolled a ball for Skipper to chase. Skipper barked, <laughs> and Papa put him in the garage because you got it. Great Aunt Martha was here and she needed her rest. Finally, 
Great Aunt Martha came out of her room, and we ate dinner. We had fish and carrots and spinach and brown juice. Great Aunt Martha said it was delicious, but it wasn't. Then everyone sat down in the living room and talked about weather and airplanes and people I never knew. Great Aunt Martha yawned. Oh, it's been a long day, Papa said. Yes, Mama said. We all need our rest. Great Aunt Martha stayed in her room a long time in the morning. I knew I couldn't turn on the TV. I knew I couldn't invite James over. I knew I couldn't dance to my music. I knew I couldn't play with Skipper. I knew I had to be very, very quiet because Great Aunt Martha was here and she needed her rest. Then we heard a tap, tap, tap coming from Great Aunt Martha's room. It got louder and louder. We tiptoed to the door of Great Aunt Martha's room and we slowly opened it. Be careful, Mama cried. You'd better sit down, Papa warned, before you fall down. There was Great Aunt Martha dancing with her cane. This place is too quiet, she shouted. I don't want to sit and I don't want to talk and I definitely do not want to rest. Let's make some noise and have some fun. So Papa turned on the music and Mama turned on the TV. And I invited James over and Skipper came in from the garage and Great Aunt Martha ordered pizza. We all had a party because Great Aunt Martha was here and she really was great. The end. Now I have a few questions for you, as I always do, because it's kind of fun to actually ask questions after you've read a story, particularly a good one like this one. Um, sometimes I just, uh, good readers um, use their own personal experiences uh, when reading a story uh, to help them decide uh, what they're thinking about the way a character behaves. So I want you to be thinking about that as I ask you these questions. Uh, it's called making judgments about things. So, when at the beginning of the story, what can you tell so far about the girl, how the little girl feels about her great aunt's visit? How does she feel about her great aunt's visit? The beginning of the story, was she happy? Was she sad about it? My next question is, do you think it was fair of the little girl to decide right away that Great Aunt Martha was not so great? She judged her aunt and decided pretty much right off that this great aunt wasn't so great. Was that fair of her to do that? And my last question, what changed the girl's opinion? of Great Aunt Martha. What happened that changed the little girl's opinion of how she felt about Great Aunt Martha? Thank you for listening.